for remembering the life of former First Lady Barbara Bush. She died yesterday at her home in Houston, Texas at the age of 92. Courtney Zubowski is there with how condolences are coming in from across the country. As First Lady Barbara Bush took up the cause of child and adult literacy. If more people could read, write, and comprehend, we would be that much closer to solving so many of the problems that plague our nation. But it was her role as mother of six and wife of former President George H.W. Bush that was most important to her. I'm the mother of wonderful children and the wife of the world's greatest man. A family spokesman took to Twitter Tuesday, writing, the 41st president, to whom she was married for 73 years, held her hand all day and was at her side when she died. Her son and 43rd president, George W., wrote, our souls are settled because we know hers was. The Bushes have called Houston home for decades. Neighbors have been leaving flowers and notes here at their residence as tribute to the former first lady. She's just a normal lady, except that she comes with secret service. When they weren't attending sporting events together, the former first couple frequented this Houston area pizza shop that named a pie in her honor. She stood up for her family. She stood up for, you know, America. And I'd say a real true first lady. Earlier this week, the Bush family announced the family matriarch was in failing health and had decided to receive comfort care at home. The 92-year-old will be laid to rest Saturday on the grounds of the George Bush Presidential Library next to her daughter, Robin, who died of leukemia as a child. Courtney Zabowski, CBS News, Houston, Texas. Barbara Bush will lie in repose at St. Martin's Church in Houston on Friday. It's open to the public. Private viewing for family and friends will be today and tomorrow.